The founder of the University of Notre Dame, Father Edward Soren, famously wrote a letter saying that he would expect that this university would someday be an important force for good in the world. And to me, the Religious Liberty Initiative at Notre Dame is a continuation of that legacy. Notre Dame has to be in the discussion about the protection of religious freedom. Notre Dame's Religious Liberty Initiative is focused on promoting and developing religious liberty scholarship and then leveraging those ideas to make a difference in the lives of real people. One of the cases our students had the chance to work on was defending an indigenous sacred site in Arizona called Oak Flat. A mining giant is finishing up plans to dig under part of the area named Oak Flat, a sacred place for Native Americans. We must protect it. Our ancestors protected it. Now we have to protect it for our future generations that are yet still coming. The Apache religion is very different than my own Catholic faith, but I was able to dive into understanding why this land was so important and so sacred to them. It really brought to mind when I cried watching videos of Notre Dame and Paris burning and thinking about how important that sacred site is to my faith and to my own pilgrimage to that cathedral. And that really motivated me to spend late nights working on this brief. It was just a really transformative experience to work on that case. One of the things that I'm most excited about for the Religious Liberty Initiative is the fact that right from the start, it's conceived as a project that has a global scope to it. So much of the need in the area of religious liberty is global, and so many of the problems are really severe in other parts of the world. We offer a huge variety of experiences for the students, both in the types of cases we work on and in the, the types of projects we do. I've worked on maybe five or six projects, all mostly directly affecting the Muslim community. Having access to those kind of clients, those kind of resources, being able to see these issues play out in real life in my third year of law school before I'm even a practicing attorney um, has been an incredible experience. We'll file this year five briefs in the Supreme Court of the United States. We'll file briefs in other courts around the country. Being able to hold a brief that I've written that has been filed at the Supreme Court in my hands, it was something I never expected to happen. We work to shape public opinion too. We've had students who have worked to draft op-eds to raise important issues in religious freedom and we've had success publishing those in, in national publications. We have a really deep bench of experts on different religious liberty issues and being able to sort of work hand in hand with them and receive that close mentorship as we work on projects is just an incredible opportunity. I regard the initiative as a really important moment in the law school's history. I can't think of an institution that's better equipped lead the charge both in terms of academic study but also in terms of helping prepare students to go out in the real world than Notre Dame. We protect religious freedom for everyone, for people of all faiths or no faith at all. This is key to the Catholic mission and key to what it really means to have religious freedom. I want Notre Dame to be a light to the people who are suffering darkness. I want this to be a place that people all around the world can see as a source of hope, where they can find people who are willing to fight for them, for their religious freedom, and for their human flourishing.